Hello everybody. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie and I am the um, event coordinator here at Boulder Bookstore. And I am here today to talk about two teen fantasy series that I've been reading recently and really enjoying. They've both, the first books are both out in paperback and the second books have recently just come out in hardcover and I'm very much looking forward to continuing these series. So we'll start with Garth Nix, The Left-Handed Booksellers of London. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious why I really wanted to pick this up, just because it's about booksellers and it's a fantasy, so that's really awesome. It's also by Garth Nix, who's one of my favorite authors. Uh, he wrote Sabriel and the Old Kingdom series. I love that series. So this is totally different from that. This is set in the 80s in sort of an alternate London, where there's the main character, Susan, has just turned 18. She um, she doesn't live in London yet, but she was eager to head off to London because she's been accepted at an art school in London. She's very excited because uh, partly because you know she's just graduated from high school and is about to go off to college, but also because she has lived with her mom her whole life. She has never known her dad, and she's always been very curious. And her mom is kind of a little bit. She doesn't always answer the questions. She's a little flighty. She's a little dreamy. So, um, you know, Susan has had all these questions about her dad and she's got like a few scraps of information about him and thinks that in London she can figure out who he is and if he's still alive and if she can talk to him and connect with him. So. It begins rather dramatically with her, you know, getting to London, meet, you know, uh, meeting up with uh, this character who has, you know, is Uncle Frank, I think is his name, and you know, she, this guy's been sending them Christmas cards for years, so she figures she'll start with this guy. And uh, while she's her first night there, she's getting really weird vibes from this guy. She's like getting ready to head out, and then this strange person comes in with a pin and like basically pops him like it's like totally bizarre and you're like what on earth is happening she comes to find out this uh this very very beautiful uh person that she has just met uh, his name is merlin and he is a bookseller and the booksellers in this world and in this particular the saint jacques family they are basically magical and they protect the borders between like the, re the regular world and like the magical world and something was up with uncle frank and merlin was there to try and deal with it because he had his own mysteries about his mother that he was investigating so these two people meet up and adventures ensue and many of their family questions are answered and lots of adventures happen and it's just a super fun book susan is a great character you know she's very into art but like she's not like your typical like she's not like a standard form of of beautiful like she keeps her head shaved she loves to basically just wear like these workman's overalls all the time and these big doc martens and merlin is very beautiful like kind of gorgeous blonde hair and he loves clothes like he will take hours to get ready like his like his whole apartment is just filled and filled and filled with clothes but he's also a fighter so it's like he's very effeminate but also very strong and powerful which i think is a really great uh, aspect to have in fun fantasy um you also meet uh merlin's sister vivian who's also awesome she is a right-handed bookseller so the left-handed booksellers are like the fighters and the right-handed booksellers are the more academic ones they do the research and they do more magic but anyway so that's the basic idea. The second book in the series, The Sinister Booksellers of Bath, has uh, come out relatively recently and I'm about halfway through and very much enjoying it. I won't say more about that because it might give away some things that happen in this book, but super, super fun series and I'm really looking forward to reading more in this series. All right, the next series that I'm gonna talk about is The Bone Spindle by Leslie Vetter. This one is particularly fun because Leslie Vetter lives in Boulder. And actually, my husband went to high school with her. <laughs> um, but this is a fantasy retelling of Sleeping Beauty uh, with a few things swapped around. So first of all, uh, Sleeping Beauty Briar, Roy, uh, Briar Rose is a boy. 
and he's it's you know the similar like you know he turns 18 gets this you know the the spindle prick and you know and falls into a sleep and all of that but it's a much there's a lot more kingdoms involved than just you know in in the classic story you just hear about the one kingdom but in this story it's there's a much wider world out there this has happened in one particular kingdom and this story is set a hundred years after all of this has happened and as you can see on the cover there are two kick-ass ladies who star in this fee is the bookish one she's a treasure hunter she's still pretty like she she could still fight but she's like like fighting isn't her whole thing whereas shane who is the, the described as the woodsman she is definitely a fighter like she's got this big ass axe and she is like been training with it her whole life and they team up because Shane has found um, a, a map that she thinks leads to a very particularly interesting treasure, but she doesn't have like she she just cannot be bothered to do the reading and like the learning of ancient languages and all of that that Fee loves. So she's like, we got to team up so we can get to this treasure. And of course, this treasure leads to uh, uh, you know this this a uh, hundred year old story that everyone kind of knows about and everyone just kind of avoids this kingdom where all this happened because everything there is just filled with thorns and asleep. But while they're finding this treasure, Fee pricks her finger and that kind of summons not the ghost of Briar Rose, but like a shade of him because he's still asleep in the tower. But suddenly she's kind of like being haunted <laughs> by his shade. So, you know, and he's telling her, like, we're connected now, like, we're meant to be together forever. And she's like, I just met you. <laughs> what the hell? And he's like, you've got to come to this castle and, like, break the curse permanently so that we can, uh, so we can save the kingdom. And, of course, she goes along and, you know, so she and Shane and, uh, will go, go on many adventures to get to Briar Rose and meet a couple characters along the way. Shane, in particular, meets basically a version of Little Red Riding Hood called Red and sparks fly for them but Red is a mysterious character you don't really know what she's all about so you know you're kind of, but it's a lot of a lot of fun action a lot of romance it's very fun and then uh, the sequel whoop, The Severed Thread just came out at the beginning of this year and the final book in the series will be coming out next year and I'm very excited to read that but again, I'm not going to tell you too much about what happens in this. I mean, you can kind of look at the cover and figure a few things out. But uh, but yeah, super fun series. Local author. Highly recommend. Those are my teen recs for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, we'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel and like our videos. Thanks so much.